Hello, my friends. God bless you today. I'm Stephen Brooks, and I'm here to talk with you just a little bit about my book, Standing on the Shoulders of Giants. You know, we're at a time in church history where there's a great, fascinate, uh, great fascination about the subject of mantles, how mantles are transferred, how they're received. You know, we think often about Elijah and Elisha, that classic story back in 2 Kings chapter 2 of how Elijah walked in that powerful, miracle-working, prophetic ministry, and then how a double portion was transferred over to the servant, Elisha. Then Elisha went on to have his very own profound prophetic ministry. Just his prophetic ministry alone lasted at least 55 years. And uh, that mantle was carried on in the earth, but eventually it fell to the ground because there was not an inherent successor who was qualified to walk in that mantle. But in this day and time, the Lord Jesus is looking down from heaven and looking to see who is qualified to stand on the shoulders of giants, to receive these mantles of former saints, former ministers, former doctors, former lawyers, former attorneys, former scientists, former mathematicians, who will receive their mantles, that those mantles may come and rest upon a people that want to do greater exploits than the generations that have gone before us. In this book, I teach you how mantles are transferred, how the anointing can transfer from one generation to the next. I even take time and go into detail and share my own personal experience of after having prayed for two years of when the Lord Jesus came one night and placed a new mantle, a new anointing upon my life. He actually even told me who used to walk in that mantle, where he lived at, when he lived, uh, when he lived in church history. And ever since then, the Lord's been blessing my ministry with a greater increase of the anointing. You know, the anointing is not just for ministers. It's for anybody that's hungry to fulfill their calling and their purpose. You don't have to be a minister to receive a mantle. You know, there's mantles for scientists. Somebody needs to walk in that mantle of Albert Einstein. That's waiting to fall over a whole group of people that want to go further in the scientific study. You know, I was in a uh, meeting recently uh, up in Chicago, and I had an astrophysicist come into my meeting, and he and other groups of men that are spirit-filled believers and hungry for the things of God are pressing into these end-time anointings to unlock secrets of science, chemistry, uh, astronomy, and physics. There's a mantle, there's a fresh anointing that God wants to place up upon your life, and it's according to your particular calling and your particular gifting that God has assigned for your life's purpose. This book takes the time to teach about the different types of mantles. You know, I go into the importance even of sharing the necessity of having a financial mantle, a financial anointing upon your life. You'll discover that it's possible to walk in different mantles, different anointings upon your life. You can have a dual anointing. You can have a multi-layered, multi-gifted type anointing. Think about jo uh, Joseph. Back in the Old Testament, Joseph had that coat of many colors. And with all those different colors, that he had, those represented different types of anointings that a person can walk in, that an individual can receive upon their life. We all believe that the Holy Spirit can rest upon a person and empower them to do what God has called them to do. The Holy Spirit is the New Testament equivalent of an Old Testament mantle. Back in the Old Testament, a mantle was a cloth or an animal skin that rested over the shoulders of a man or woman of God. It was an outward representation of an anointing of the Spirit of God that was upon their lives. Today, the Holy Spirit is coming upon people in fresh new ways to create new technology, new music, new messages out of the Word of God that have been there the whole time, but we haven't seen them. New things are coming forth, and also old things. You know, I have people have told me before, Brother Stephen, I, I don't want to receive an old mantle. I want something new. But you have to understand, along with the new, there's the old, because the Holy Spirit, He's timeless. He has no beginning. There was never a point in history where God was created. God has always been. And that same anointing, that same Holy Spirit that moved 6,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago, 2,000 years ago during the history of the early church, 50 years ago during the healing revival, 100 years ago during the Azusa Street outpouring, He's still the same Holy Spirit today, and He can take something that's timeless and place it upon your life, place it over your shoulders, and you can go forth with an increase of God's power and God's anointing.
anointing upon your life. I want to encourage you to get this book, Standing on the Shoulders of Giants. This book has literally gone around the world. We have orders coming in for this book all the time from many different nations. God is releasing mantles upon His people in this last day and hour. And can I tell you something else? I believe He saved the greatest wine, the best wine for last, just like Jesus did at that wedding feast there in Cana of Galilee. Get ready to receive something new and fresh from the Lord. Get this book, Standing on the Shoulders of Giants. I believe God will bless you. Thanks for joining me today. It was great to talk with you.